Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Tractorman44 here. Hey, you guys will remember here a while back, I changed out a, a Ramsey RE8000 winch off of the gooseneck trailer and changed it out to an Apex 12,000 pound winch with synthetic rope. Um, I did that simply because I seem to have trouble with this Ramsey all the time. I don't think it was necessarily operator error uh, because the solenoids is what kept burning up. Now, they recommend not leaving uh, an extreme pull for an excess of 30 seconds at a time, and I never did that, and still don't do it on my apex uh, with slight variation. But uh, I still had repeated failures on those solenoids. So in the meantime, I went ahead and, and got me another set of solenoids from the Ramsey Corporation, and went ahead and changed those out so it's ready to go again. But you got to remember, sometimes you need to uh, to move something around, and you don't have a winch or anything that's handy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this guy here, and I'm going to come up with a way to mount this on my old truck to where it'll be a little bit more versatile because I got something heavy I got to move out of the way. So come along with me and we'll take a look see. So what I've done, I've actually already started on this before I thought about making a video. So what I've got is this heavy, and I love this old structural steel. This is a 7 inch by 4 inch 3 8 structural steel. Actually, it's thicker than 3 8, it's like a 7 16. And what I've done, I went ahead and drilled holes that match up to the mounting holes on this guy right here. So that's going to mount on here. And I got the rudimentary shape that I need to have open for the cable. But I'm going to use the old fair lead. I'm going to mount that fair lead in here. And I'm going to have to adjust this opening to where the cable will pass right through this fair lead. Then we got to go about the business of making a way to mount it to the truck. So that's where I'm at right now. Like I said, already got started and haven't filmed anything yet. So this is the first, the first take, so to speak. As you can see, the external flue temperature is right at 600, just a little over 600 degrees. So inside that flue, it's just a little hotter than that. But this is that old fire chief that was in a, actually in a house fire one time. And it was given to me 20 some years ago, set down in the woods. And then here a while back, I went ahead and shrouded it and put that blower on the backside to where I can actually use that inside this shed. So right now I've only got two 10 inch adjustable 90s right there on top of it, blowing air in my direction. As you can take a look right here, I'm pushing out right now 175, 180 degree air out of the uh, out of the pipes. Not so awful bad. Now don't give me too much trouble, but any flat surface around here that's not covered up with stuff is considered a work table. So this old table saw is doing just fine. See, we want that cable to enter that reel on the bottom side. So anywhere in this general area here near the bottom of that reel should be adequate for putting that open. So I'm thinking from two and a quarter inches up to four and a half should give me the window where that cable needs to enter. Just gonna pop this back off of here real quick. We're going to cut that out of here. Now if you're wondering why the camera is so far away from the torch, the last time I used the torch I got some speckles on my camera. I don't like that. I don't like tearing up my camera. That's not a bad cut. I still ain't the best in the world with these doggone plasma cutters, but I kind of couldn't see up here in the corner. Kind of got a little, little crazy right there. But I got a couple barnacles on the back side. I got to grind off, and that's going to be looking pretty good, I think. I hope, anyway. Again, camera lenses and sparks don't go good. I'm going to back you guys up.
Now what I've done, I got this all cleaned up and everything, and I took this uh, two inch drop hitch right here. I went ahead and welded that right to the bottom side of this uh, this big old piece of angle iron. Bear in mind, I'm not into retrieval. I don't do this professional or anything. This is just for me and my junk around here, moving some dead tractors, or maybe out in the woods, you know, rolling a log or something. This is not for commercial use, so I would not recommend you guys doing this for yourself. But at any rate, you can see I got a pretty good, pretty good stick job on this guy here. That's a 7018, run up pretty high, about 130 amp. I got some good penetration and not a lot of undercut, so it's it's gonna be okay. I've got that welded uh, on this side, this side, and just a spot in the middle. But I've got provisions for beefing it up if it does act like it's going to want to give some under a heavy load. But I'm not anticipating uh, massive heavy loads. The very one I'm building this for is actually probably the heaviest thing this thing's ever going to be pulling. But at any rate, this is going to go underneath there and slide into the receiver. And then that winch is going to mount here with that fair lead on front. So we're going to do a mock-up of it right now and see if that's going to work. Well, we've got four grade eight, three eighths grade eight bolts going into the cast housing of the Ramsey winch. Got the fair lead just about adjust to where it needs to be. So I'm just going to torque these bolts down just a little bit. And we're going to go and see uh, how it's going to fit into that receiver. I know it's going to fit into the receiver, but I just have to make sure there's enough clearance between the back of the, the gearbox and the, the front of the gearbox and the back of the truck. Well, guys, by all indications, it's going to work out just the way we want it. I've got to get some uh, old welder leads and run me some wires all the way from the battery back here. You know, make these uh, connections here for the for the winch. But other than that, everything should be just what we need. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut these corners off down here. We got these sharp corners that'll catch you by the knee or whatever. So I'm gonna cut those off, round those off, you know, and uh, put a little grease on these fittings and go ahead and get this thing ready to to do a little bit of work. I'm actually kind of tickled to death of how this turned out. Got lucky, and another one looked like it's gonna work. So you know what, until we put this to um, to work, and you're going to like moving the thing that we're going to have to move. But that'll be it for this one here until I put it to work, moving that, uh, that tractor. So you know what, it's Tractor Man 44, and I'm out of here, guys.